So, uh, hello, Dr. Vandana Shiva. Uh, as you know, my name is Anand, and I want to welcome you here uh, on behalf of our Ananda Assisi community. Vandana, by way of introduction, I announce to people that you are going to be speaking today on returning to the earth, returning to the land. We spoke before about the fact that uh, our communities network, our communities in America are structured under a church and that allows us to do everything from farming particularly, but uh, to schools and to our markets and to our spiritual practices under one entity. It's a much different challenge here in Europe because every single activity that we want to do requires an individual organizational structure. But regardless of uh, the hurdles that we need to jump through, we are committed to establishing, promoting, creating intentional, cooperative, self-sustaining world brotherhood colonies dedicated to simple living and high thinking. So given the challenges, uh, especially cooper cooperation and self-sustainability, given those challenges, tell us why you would encourage us or anybody to pursue the endeavor of returning to the land. Uh, well, at any point, returning to the land was a spiritual, ecological, ethical imperative. But it has now become a survival necessity. The Amazon is burning for GMO soya. The palm oil is destroying the Indonesian rainforest. And in each of these, there were sustainable land-based indigenous communities who are being driven out. We've done a food manifesto, Food for Health manifesto from Navdanya International, and your colleagues can go visit the website of Navdanya International. Mm -hmm. See, most of the diseases that have grown exponentially are because of bad food, because we forgot that food comes from the land. And so, but we are part of the earth. We are made of the same elements that the earth is made of. We are biodiversity. Two of my colleagues have just done studies. One has shown that food with Roundup is reading to round antibiotic resistance. And the mm. second one has done a study that shows that corn, soya, GMO feed has given rats leaky gut, which is a disease in America that's prevalent among children because they're not getting real food. So whether you look at the food we eat, whether you look at the sicknesses and diseases we are being affected by, returning to the land is the only way we can live happy, healthy lives. But there's yet another reason why this is important. It's important because in this pandemic, half of working people in the cities have lost their livelihoods. 3.3 billion people work, 1.9 billion have lost it all. And they're not going to get it back. So where will the work come from? There's only one place. While the greed of corporations find 99% humanity as useless, the land and the earth is saying, I need your hands to give me care. I need your hands to give me love for the earth. None of us are redundant. She is inviting us back to the land. And the final reason why it's so important to go to the land, go back to the land, return to the earth, is all the destruction, the planetary destruction, including the social destruction. You know, why are people having to march on the streets? Who's ruling the world right now? It's a handful of technology barons. Yep. who take our friendships, who take our exchanges. And, you know, the less community you have in your community, because you're on the land, you talk to each other. You cooperate right. with each other. That's you right. don't need to make friends through Mr. Zuckerberg. This is a sickness of society. And 
humanity needs to be able to be cured of the sickness. That cure lies in return to the land. Thank you, Vadnana. So it's very obvious to look and see that we have broken transportation models cultural. We have bro a broken cultural model. We have broken energy models. We have broken labor models. And so what we're talking about is a complete shift in how we look at life. And that's a, a gigantic endeavor to try to get this world to think differently, to look at life differently. So you mentioned Musk. I saw an interview with him the other day. I've always appreciated that he made the electric car but well in his interview he said somebody had proposed to him this idea that the pope and that uh, the green deal in america had proposed to try to give everyone a a universal basic income uh, because you are absolutely right those jobs are not going to return and so there's going to be a huge problem so the point is, how do we make a transition? Because if those jobs never return, we can't just let people, we just can't leave people on the streets. He said, and this I think is the essence of what needs to be confronted in modern life today, is he said, well, that basic, that idea of basic income doesn't work because we need things. And if you don't have things, you don't have an economy, you don't have progress. But it's exactly that point of consumerism. The environment just doesn't sustain it. Rather than what about our jobs, what can we do to a transition, totally different tra cultural transition to return to the land? So when you speak to us this way, really you... you you, at least in this community, you touch our heart because um, we do meditate. We are a spiritual-based community, and we do try to feel the presence of consciousness in the land, in the trees, in the rock. And we need to not just push that away. We need to tune into what is important and what we can do to change. And that's where it's a gigantic task to try to convince especially the economists who, like I, like I said to you before, the economy wants us each to own a refrigerator, each to own a car, each to own a house. And that just continues to destroy the environment. The environment at some point, after there's 8 billion or 9 billion people, just simply won't sustain that kind of growth. When you use three words, Alan, and uh, let me just reflect on that. So you use the word consume and consumption and consumer. We weren't consumers till a few decades ago. That's right. We had needs. We needed water. We needed food. And the land gives all of that to us. The word consume, its etymological roots are to destroy hmm. by separating into parts which cannot ever be reunited. Hmm to expend by use or to do away with completely. So living is not consumption. Meeting your needs is not consumption. Destroying is consumption. And this was therefore used as the word for TB, for tuberculosis during the Middle Ages. So we must basically get out of this idea that we are consumers. We are not consumers. When we become consumers, we lubricate the destruction machine and we become complicit in the destruction of the earth, in the destruction of humanity, in the destruction of cultures, of meaning, of values. And that's why return to the land is so important. We have the potential to be co-creators with the land. We Why have potential to be co-producers with the land. We yeah. recognize the land is creative. The land is, and you know, this is where the mechanistic idea of Boyle and Bacon made us believe that the earth is dead matter. So we appropriated her creativity and denied it. And therefore we do all kinds of violence. We put chemical fertilizers, we spray pesticides, we spray Roundup. 
because we assume she's dead. The minute you say, the land is alive, and I have a role to be co-creators with this amazing land, land bursts back into amazing biodiversity on our Navdanya farm. And I hope at some point we can deepen this partnership between your community and Navdanya. On our, I started to save seeds. So we grow biodiversity of crops. Then the pollinators came back. We have six times more pollinators than the forest. Our water has come back 70 feet higher than when we started. Mm. So we do a little bit. That's the point. When nature is living and the land is living, it's not all in your hands. We are not engineering nature. We are serving nature. And mm. in small acts of human service, nature creates amazing things. That is ecology. Mm -hmm. You also use the word job, you know, when you talked about the old growth forest that how, you know, how can you talk about oils and what about our jobs? So I'm doing, you know, actually I was supposed to have come to Assisi for the economy of St. Francis gathering. Okay. And of mm -hmm. course, with the lockdown, it has been postponed. I don't know if they'll have to postpone it further. But I started to write my paper and it, it grew into quite a long document. And oh. um, I, I started to attach with it a, a dictionary of words because words have changed meaning. Today we assume consumption is inevitable, but we realize it's got a very recent history and a bad root. You know the word job in a similar way? You know what job was? It's when they went to the villages in England and stole people for the mines and the factories mm. because farmers did not want to leave the land. It took 200 years of violence mm. against the peasantry of England to enclose the commons. And the word job was, it means to cheat. You jobbed a person. You captured them and told them a lie and took them to the city or the mine. So mm. the word job again has a negative root. Yeah. The word economy, and this is what I was going to do for, um, for the economy of St. Francis. The word oikonomia is the art of living. What it has been replaced by is what Aristotle called chromatistics, the art of money making. Economy comes from the same roots as the word ecology, oikos. Mm. Ecology provides the umbrella. Within it, the econom economy takes care of the household, which is the land, which is the earth. So the highest economy is the economy of the land. The highest economy is the economy of going back to the land. All of this other stuff of money making and greed without limits. It's greed without limits. It's the logic of a cancer cell which doesn't know when to stop growing. And we can go back to the land. And the challenge now is working with local communities and saying they're unemployed people. Let us create communities of the land. There are people who've lost their jobs. Let's build a whole new economy of meaningful work on the land. And we'll have to build this bottom up. Some places there might be governments that care. I know New Zealand has just said we will not measure growth. We'll measure well-being of our people. Bhutan had done that decades ago. Mm -hmm. So some places it will be a local government. Some places it will be a regional government. Some places it will be a national government. But it doesn't matter where your partners are. We need a new partnership with the earth, between people, to move from what I call extractive economies that take and take and take, and circular economies that give and receive without thinking of what they'll receive. One of the beauties of community, especially a back to the land community, is that you can lock it down. So we closed our guest facility. Nobody else was coming in. Those people who were still outside came when they were ready to come in. We delivered their car to the airport. From the moment they landed and were going to come back home, they started their quarantine. They spent the two weeks in their home and then they could uh, come out and enjoy the community life that we basically had cloistered or, or closed in. We need a different way to approach the government agencies because if we don't change quickly, you see that 
culturally, socially, we, be, we continue to, to deteriorate. We in, to continue to deteriorate on the level of the environment. We can, there's so many levels that if, you just, if we just come back to um, village life, a type of village, agricultural village, we need to mount a campaign, and I'm hoping that I might be able to enlist your help in this because I'm, I really feel that we need to address either the Italian parliament or the European uh, government, but we need to start to wake up the bureaucrats to help them understand that there needs to be a change and there needs to be a, we need to facilitate the people who want to go back to the land we need to help them do that. Um, so two good uh, pieces of, of news, okay. especially for Europe. One is a senator who's been, you know, we have, an, we have an international office in Italy, in Florence and Rome. Ah, no, I didn't and, know. And every time I go to Italy, the parliament always calls me and I interact. And one of the parliamentarians has tabled a private member's bill. Huh. on agroecology, which in effect is back to the land. Yeah? Huh. To promote an agriculture that is local, circular, and, uh, and centralized. Hmm. Um, the second is Europe as a whole has passed a new policy called farm to fork. 50% reduction in pesticides committed, and we were saying do 100%, but at least it's at 50% by 2030. <laughs> Huh? And more encouragement of biodiversity on farms and more links farm to fork. So this is local economies. This has already passed at the European level. Mm. And your letter, your initiative on, or to the European community, what I will do is put you in touch with my colleagues in Rome so that they can work with you to move it within Italy and in, in the European. Fantastic. I'll do, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Vandana, I don't want to take too much of your time, but uh, I don't know if you want to close it with any uh, comment. I just want you to know how much we appreciate the time you've given us. Um, and um, I hope this is even the beginning of more of these kinds of conversations, so. I look forward to make, you know, I, like I said, I don't think we have to make too much of, of an effort. We have to just remove the blocks. Right. That prevent people from coming to bed. And you know, um, how many people will have money if they have no work? Yeah? So we'll have very large numbers of people without money yeah. to create a new economy. So if you think of it, the conditions today are totally right for a movement which can put everything together. The issues of the planet, the issues of our health, the issues of sovereignty. You know, I think more and more people will want to escape the surveillance system which is yeah. being put in place, yeah. to live free from the land. Because you won't need these long distance systems yeah. that become an imperative and you're not on the land. So, like I say, you know, there are forces bigger than us at work and we work to the earth and those forces. And I look forward to taking this further with you. Thank you so much and my love to your community. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Vandana Shiva, thank you very much. Thank you.